Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today, we're gonna talk about the most controversial thing to talk about when it comes to RVs, is can you put a hitch on the back of an RV and is the bumper strong enough? So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a friendly reminder, I'm giving away over $18,000 of tools this year. So be sure you check out the link down below on how you can win. But simply one comment per video equals an entry. If you want more entries, you go on to gastax.com, support the channel by buying a hat, shirt or hoodie, and you get three entries per dollar spent. Now guys, I'm joined to a lot of Facebook groups, forums and everything about RVs because this was my first RV I bought back in August and I love consuming knowledge so I had the knowledge to build out this camper. Now, I know a hot topic is, can you put a bicycle rack on the back of your camper? And when I'm talking about it, I'm talking about the typical square tube bumper. And the answer to that is no, you should not do that. Now you can get attachments that hook onto that bumper that give you a two inch receiver like a tow, a tow hitch on the back of the car and that gives you the ability to put a bike rack or so forth on that bumper. I do not recommend that. Now some say just buy the extra supports that you bolt onto the actual frame that help hold the bumper up so the bumper doesn't rip off at the welds and I would recommend that if you're just putting something super light on the back not necessarily bicycles but maybe a grill or one bicycle and I think that should be sufficient but always check with your dealer what the weight capacity of your bumper is. Now guys I did something here that probably voids your warranty and for me I'm fine with that. For you guys that's a risk you have to take. I don't recommend what I'm doing, I show you what I'm doing and I always take the safety precautions to make sure everything I've done is top notch and super safe. But there's always going to be some of you that think I'm crazy and stupid. <laughs> I guess that's life. So if you look right down here, you'll see I actually have a winch. That winch is on a two inch receiver mount. That mount is actually a hitch that I inserted and bolted to the frame. Now why did I want a two inch hitch on the back of my camper? Well reason number one is I winter camp. I drive the camper in the snow, on the ice, in dirt road conditions and I normally do it at off season times when no one can actually come help me if I get stuck. By help me I mean tow trucks. I'm doing stupid things I don't recommend you do on a stock camper so I need every ability to help me pull out of the situation I put myself in. Now guys don't get me wrong I'm not doing crazy things putting myself at risk but I do know things happen. Black ice happens. Sometimes a dirt road is a concurve, concurve, convex? This shape and if there's ice on that I could slide off the road. Now I need some help getting out instead of calling a tow service $500 or whatever to come find me off road and wait six hours, I decided it's better for me to invest some money into self recovery. You can see I always have extra gas with me, I always have uh, traction pads to put on the wheels if I get stuck and then I have a winch on the back of my camper and I have a winch on the front of my car. So if anything, if I do slide off the road a little bit, I can hook the back winch up to a tree, hook the front winch up to a tree and pull myself back onto the road. So I'm going to lift up the stabilizers, do that and then we'll get to winching. And I think without the winch we would have been stuck. 
without inconvenience anyone and without putting a tow truck driver in a risky situation as well. So that is one reason. The second reason is I do have two kids and I do have a big tote I can put on the back where I can put all their toys, bicycles, scooters, balls, whatever they want to play with. I do off season camping, so fall, spring and winter, so your bicycle isn't normally coming along but during those times where it's warm enough to still uh, bicycle I do put their bikes in there and in the winter I can put their little skis in there it just keeps all the outside toys away from me and on the back hitch mount now the third reason is if I know I'm going to go somewhere like uh, Moab or the desert and I want to scout out a trail without inconvenience my wife and my kids uh, they can stay in the camper and the car on the side of the road I actually put a little 200 cc motorcycle on the back here now yes that's a lot of weight guys I've checked everything this payload on this camper is 2500 pounds my motorcycle is 200 pounds so yes you can criticize me but this is what I do and I know I'm safe so I put the motorcycle on the back here and then I can go scout the trail, make sure it's super safe before I go take the whole camper and the rig down the road. So guys, I'm gonna jump into my office now, go on the computer and draw a diagram and show you some pictures of how I mounted this adjustable RV rear hitch to the actual frame of my camper. So let's jump into that. All right, guys, so this is the RV and camper hitch that you can attach to your campers. I will leave a link down below where you can pick this up. But basically, this is adjustable. You see these mounting brackets. These are made to go on the bottom of your C-channel frame. Um, I didn't want to do that because then the clearance at the back end of my camper would be super low because this hangs down uh, five and a half inches if you will and I didn't want to do that another thing to keep in mind is my trailer is seven feet wide I think the actual frame is maybe five and a half feet so these mounts slide up and down this bar here and then you cut off this excess or you could leave it uh, depending on how you mount it but this is the bracket now I'm going to show you how I mounted the hitch so if you're looking at the camper from the back, this is the C-channel frame that the camper has already. My camper is a C-channel, some will be a fully uh, tubed frame, but mine's a C-channel. The stock square frame bumper is bolted in right here and right here, and that sits exactly on the back of the camper. Now, what I've done for the the hitch is I removed that square frame and then I went along and I cut this actual uh, mount here. I cut it exactly the height of the C channel frame. So the weight, so this bracket here can't uh, slide out, firstly it's bolted in, but it slides right in the C channel frame and it's got no wiggle room. It, that's how precise I cut it. So it's touching the top and it's touching the bottom. Then from there, I used hardened uh, grade A bolts to bolt in in four spots. So it's bolted in here, bolted in here, both front and back, and then again here and here. And that is how I have mounted my uh, hitch to the frame. Hopefully that helps. So let's jump back to me. So guys, hopefully you found this very informative. I don't recommend you do this if you're worried about your warranty. I don't recommend you do this if you're gonna put a lot of weight on the back. To me, 200 pounds is not a lot, but you know, I'm kind of biased. Just look at me. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Hopefully that helps you guys figure out if you wanna put a frame mounted hitch on here. This is not an easy job and it might void your warranty. But anyways, happy camping and until next time, I'll see you then.